Hello, welcome to another Alpha Strike We Play video, and Taryn and I are doing unboxing. This is from the Catalyst Games Labs Wave 2 Battletech. So yes. It's finally arrived in Australia. You got your gear. I got it. And you said you, you threatened that you'd bring it in, and you have. <laughs> So we're having a look at it. I'm a man of my word. That's right. And we're on the last of the Clan Star boxes, and today we are doing the Clan Heavy Star. And nice. there's some really cool mechs in this one. Indeed. Let's swoosh it and get to it. Swoosh. Now it's funny to note that with this box set, it's all second line clan mix. Yeah, but there's some really cool ones. <laughs> Indeed. Some yeah. really cool ones. And like the, the head dude in the middle there is one of my <laughs> personal favorites from back in the day. <laughs> there we are. Uh, and I think the others are, yeah, uh, two C versions of Innisphere mix. Mm. So. We should get some uh, cards in there as well for Alpha Strike and stuff. We most what? certainly did, sir. Would you do the honors of opening those up, please? Open those and get them ready. It's got the same. So it doesn't really matter which clan you play in the game. You can buy any of these box sets and basically make them your own because everyone trades and battles yep. and wins or whatever. So if you've only got one of something in your collection, it doesn't matter. That's no, it doesn't. It doesn't matter at all. Uh, it's it's like um, like the inner sphere really. I mean the mechs get around. There are very few that are seriously exclusive to any one particular thing. Yeah. Um, now I got this one. So we have uh, fifty tonner is the is the smallest we have. Yeah. Here, and the others are eighties and up. So this is going to be fun. And yeah, these are. The first few, I think the first three are 2C variants of Inner Sphere mechs. And then we've got two that are like up, upgraded versions of other stuff or something well, they're, like they're, that. So their own sort of thing. Yeah. Well, let's start with the uh, the lightest, which is how we usually do this. And this is the Hunchback 2C, 2C. at 50 tons. And why is this one famous? Because of the two Ultra 20s in his thing. That's right. And that's... It, it, I, yeah, aluminium foil for armor, basically, because once you hit it, it goes. On yeah, the floor. that's right. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's like the um, it's like a mech version of the SRM carrier. Tank. Yeah, you know, you can dish it out, but can't really take it. You do not want to meet this thing in an urban environment nope. if you haven't like prepared for it to be there. If you get ambushed by him, he will obliterate you. Yeah. So there's a four six four movement. So having the yeah. jump, especially in an urban environment, is awesome. But he, even if he doesn't use the ultra variant of the the ack, you're still looking at forty points of damage, reasonably easily. Yeah. Um, if he can get a good cluster roll on those ultra acts, yeah, you're looking that's up to thing. eighty points. So. That's right. But he's only got, uh, I think it was ten or eleven double heat sinks. Yeah. So if he, if he double taps everything, he starts having some heat issues. But he does have some ER medium lasers to back it up. So yeah. That's all right. Get and he's got jump and just just almost no armor. Yeah. So here's the cards for this guy. Yep. Uh, Twenty nine points. Hunchback to C. It's an ambusher. So medium, not fast enough, but it does to generate too much of a target movement modifier. But it's okay. But eight jump. So yeah. still in the city, you're okay. You know. Yeah. Use, that's yeah. Use terrain. And uh, um, this one's all energy. This is the two variant. So it's all energy. This is the one that's got, um, I think it's mostly medium, like ER medium lasers. There's like nine of them or something. So yeah, that over overheat value there of four is pretty insane. For most, yeah. But um, yeah, that's interesting. So what's the main one? Then? The, the standard oh, variant. Standard. There we go. Oh my God. It's a hippie one. Look yeah, we're going to. Look at that. Cool picture. colors. Look at that. <laughs> that is awesome. I'm going to have to do a rainbow <laughs> colour scheme good. on my dude. That's got to be a miss. I don't know. I don't know. No. We'll find out. We'll have a look at the pilot under this card. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that one's got only an overheat of two, but he's got case in there, so you can tell he's got the um, yeah the uh, ammo bearing. So overheat to do six points of damage. 
at that medium is. and short. Yeah. 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 Play that. I'd go with it. So, Inigo Vewa. Inigo Vewa? Vewas? Vewas. Vewas, Vewas. Vewa. Come on, Dawson. So, it's a 3 4 star commander with Clam Diamond Shark. Moonstone Skate Unit. Okay, that sounds weird. Although skate is a type of shark, so I guess moonstone skate, whatevs. Okay. Uh, one of the few active warriors to bear the, the Vewa blood name. Iniga feels trapped by her situation. Assigned a battle mech, she considers a death trap, which I'm with her on that one. She has yeah. been trying to get assigned another. She has had no luck so far. Despite that, she's become adept at getting the best use out of her paired massive auto cannons. Oof. So she has weapon specialist for Ultra Act 20. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Which is the minus two to hit modifier for the oh Ultra Act 20. And a three gunnery. That's just rude. Yep. Yep, that's nice. You can risk you can risk a jump. You know, if their movement yeah. modifier isn't too high. You can risk a jump and just get You you can jump full value, like your full four. And only get a plus one overall for jumping. Because mm -hmm. normally jump is plus three, but you've got a minus two automatically there for your ultras. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's very cool. Well, there you go. So it is, there's the same paint job. Wow. <laughs> okay. So what's the Anchina? Ant, 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 Anthony. Anthony. Oh, it's kind of Anthony, but weird. Ant Anthony. Okay. We'll yeah. Go with that. Okay. Three gunnery, four piloting. A mech warrior with the Nova Cats, the first gar garrison cluster. So amongst his clan, <laughs> Echini, okay, is considered eccentric. His hunchback 2C is painted with symbols and verses from different religions. His speech is filled with mystical jargon. He's with the Nova Cats, so this is how it goes. In battle, uh, he combines grace, skill, and deadly aggression. Natural grace for a cost of three. Oh, yep. yeah, we've yeah, seen that one we've before. We've seen that one in one yeah, of the other so boxes. It helps in but, like, yeah. rough terrain and stuff. You pay less movement points. Yeah. That's pretty You handy. can torso twist two hexes two. instead of one and can flip an arm. Oh, my God. It's, um, can you imagine that with those guns? It's like a turret. You become a turret. Yeah. The, I think because the, the Ultra Axe are in the torso, aren't they? Yeah. But two hexes, you, you're basically bringing... So, one, two. two. Yeah, You're okay. bringing your front arc to your rear. To arc. your rear. Yep. So you. That's can, insane. You can hit everybody. You need flipping arms. <laughs> <laughs> so Bango's trying to sneak up behind the guy. I mean, he can just bring those ultra hacks around and shoot you wherever you are. Oh, it's, it's basically. Nice. Oh my god, that's just rude. Okay. Who's next? Uh, tonnage wise, all right. So eighty tons. We have the oh. Warhammer Two C. Warhammer Two C. Radio. <laughs> it's now, really cool seeing the Warhammer. Look at that. Even the Two C variant. It's it's just a cool mech. I love the Warhammer. It's one of my favourites. Look at all those. Look at all those bits of detail in there. Yeah, that's gonna come up so it's good. Insane. Washes and whatever. It's insane. It's so good. I have to get somebody good to paint it. <laughs> have to find out which colour scheme you want to. Yeah, you could probably do this one in just plain camos. Warhammer looks pretty cool in camo. Well, well yeah. there's a Wolf Galaxy um, one that I've been looking at with the tan and grey. That looks really, really oh, good yeah. when they do it properly. Yeah. Oh my god, it looks good. Um, okay, so the prime, the standard? The standard, yeah. 50, 50 points. points. Eight move, so he's a four, six. Decent armor, decent damage, and he's a brawler, which your Warhammer pretty much is. Yeah. They move in slowly and just keep pummeling you every time they take can a over, step. Can overheat <laughs> if you want. Can overheat for two extra points. And the variant two is 52 points. Still the same move, still pretty decent damage and everything, but he's got some indirect fire with LRMs on there. Nice. Okay, and we have Rachel. Nice, simple name. That's Thank right. you. No Hello, name. Rachel. No, no blood name yet. I already no like you. <laughs> so she's a 3-4 pilot, star colonel with clan Ghost Bear. 54th provisional garrison cluster. Rose to cluster commander after the 54th came under assault from multiple pirate bands. 
She used her radio to sow discord among the different attacking groups, then drove them off with pinpoint fire from her ER PPCs. Nice. Nice. Plans to try, try the tactic again. Curious if it will lure other enemies into range. And she's got weapon specialists with her ER PPCs. Oh my gosh. So that's the minus two wow. to hit modifier. And they're both PPCs. So that's how the Warhammer is built. There's two PPCs in the, in the arms. So... That's it's, really good. It really does That's, look cool, doesn't yeah. it? Have these big cannons. Yeah. And like we said <laughs> in one of the other videos, if you if you want to split, like have more uh, people out there, three points, you can get a decent pilot with a really cool skill and like do it that way. That's I'd I'd go for that. She's she's good. She's yeah. a good solid mech warrior. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Torrin. Another Torrin. nice easy one. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Clan Wolf as well. So, three gunnery, for piloting. You're going to get quite a few Clan Wolf cards yeah, now. Good Clan Wolf, Wolf stuff coming up. So, Mech Warrior. What's that? The Shoya? Shoya Garrison. Shoya Garrison, Garrison Cluster. Cluster. We'll go with that. Like most of this cluster, Torrin is curious about Wolf's Dragoons. Uh -huh. uh, that has extended to interest in the Inner Sphere. He reads everything he can find on the culture, history, and politics of the Inner Sphere. Becoming an indispensable source for Galaxy Commander Feltadrell. Yeah, basically. Feltadrell. 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 His knowledge and battlefield experience make him an equally effective warrior. Three points human TRO and multitasker. Yeah, they're good combos. That is a very good combo. Before, yeah, for cool. three points. That's a good combo. Mm. Very nice. Nice. And a nice, a really nice miniature. Lots of detail. Yeah. Very nice. What's next? Uh, so moving up, we have the mad. So Marauder. Marauder. Marauder 2C is 85 tons. Now, when I was looking for this, because I was getting the, the tonnages down, because I can't remember stuff off the top of my head. Um, one thing that's worth remembering is that these Marauder 2Cs are specifically Marauder 2Cs and not the C variant of the Marauder 2. <laughs> yes. So there's a Marauder 2, which is a 100 ton version of the Marauder. And then there's a Marauder um, uh, 2 has a C variant. Because it's like a, a, an Innisfear Omni or something, I think. Um, or, or they, just or they say C. C because it's got, clan. I think, a bit of clan a tech. Clan here. tech, that's it, yeah. yeah. Okay, so it's a, C, a clan variant of the Marauder 2. Yeah. But the second line clan mech of the Marauder is a different mech. So when you're looking it up in your in your SANA and in your, um, specifically in uh, Solara Skunk Works and that, just make sure you get the right mech. Yeah. Because one's 95 tons and one's 100 tons. But that's a really cool. But they're all sexy. Look yeah, that. look at that. That's very cool. Sweet. Nice. All right, let's have a look. Have a squeeze of Rooney. 51 points for the standard. <clears throat> so it's hmm. Assault, 8 Movement, Brawler, 6, 6, 5 damage with Overheat 3 as an option. And all energy weapons. And Very all nice. all energy weapons. Lots so of Overheat armor. can be an issue, but 9 damage. 9 damage and no explosions. Very cool. 53, 53. for the for the uh, 8 Two. variant. Seven. Seven. Yeah, an indirect fire, so it's got some missile missile racks in there. And still an overheat value as well. That's pretty cool. Mm. Uh, so Eldora is a 3-4 mech warrior with Clan Diamond Shark in the 15th cruiser cluster. There is night duty. Eldora is the first one to volunteer for it. Her comrades have nicknamed her Nightwalker. Cool. <laughs> but she ignores it and enjoys the darkness. Whenever her star fights at night, Eldora takes point and guides them. Darkness does not hinder her. It makes her deadlier. So she's got the three-point ability Terrain Master, Nightwalker. So if expending walking MP, ignore all night. Darkness-based MP modifiers imposed by unusual light conditions. If expending running or jumping MP, reduce these MP modifiers by one to a minimum of zero. Wow. Weapon attacks are not affected. So that's a little bit of a pity, but you're not taking any sort of um, movement penalty for different environment uh, circumstances that involve light levels. Yeah. Which is, that's Something not nothing, is it? 
we don't we haven't really gone into the environmental specifically light levels and things but yeah they're out there yeah, and they're, that's yeah. actually pretty cool it's not a high level one but pretty cool oh check out this guy he's he's good <laughs> name he's, is king king just king just king Three gunnery for piloting. He is a star captain for Clan Wolf. Yay! There we go. Nega Garrison Cluster. Hing was wounded on Yid, losing his battle master in the process. He is simultaneously working to master his new mech and rebuild his trinary. Once those tasks are done, he plans to challenge his hated commander in a circle of equals. Oh. He has three point antagonizer, so he can pull you out of position. Yeah, so that's the one that makes you move towards him and he has to stay 10 hexes away, but that's still pretty cool. That's, um... King. King. He's, he's the king. No, ho, ho. <laughs> I like him. Oh, dear. That's a nice mech. It's a nice, nice mech. Now, this one is 90 tons of just lasers, I think. He, it's got three ER clan lasers in each arm. Nice. And unfortunately, the, overheat issues. Yeah, I was going to say, probably. This is the Supernova. Yes. So the Nova, the Black Hawk. Is it Black Hawk? Well, the Inner Sphere called it the Black Hawk. Yes, the Nova. So the You're Nova right. is like a medium mech. Yeah. That has a very similar profile, actually. Um, and this guy is just the beefed up version. <laughs> and it's, re it's really cool. It's a cool looking design. Yeah. Ooh, he's playing with his stick. Sorry, the dog's pulling the house apart. That's right. So yeah, so um, six ER, ER clan large lasers. So long range, and no ammunition problems to worry about. But uh, yeah, he's a little bit of overheating difficulty. If he fires all six, he's got big problems. So. Oh, well, big problems. Yeah. Okay. Usually the clan ones are pretty, pretty decent with the the overheating stuff. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. But the, I think the idea behind it was just to have something with range. Because, yeah. Because you're not fast or whatever, but in a defensive role, you just. Yeah, they are really cool. I mean, like I say, if you, if you can find water at a decent distance, you can hop in and just start pummeling. True. That's right. Uh, so we've got the standard is 50 points. Ooh, six. So it's a three, five, three. Am I reading that right? Yes. It would be a three, five, three. Yes. Uh, okay, so energy only and oval, which is overload. I which think. is, uh, you can overheat at long range. Because overheat uh, only does short and medium normally. Yeah, okay. Overheat long. So that overheat penalty is um, quite low. Yeah. I thought it would be higher than that. For, for all the Yeah, for all the, the stuff he's got. For the damage you would do. It's yeah. damage as well, so they have to balance it, I guess. But I don't know. We're talking, talking 12 heat for 10 damage. Yeah. I still reckon that's... Uh, but I mean, fives across the board on his on his damage for Alpha Strike at least is not too bad. Yeah, um, you don't really need to overheat for that. Wow! Holy crap! What did they do to it? I think <laughs> I think they chuck some pulse lasers or medium lasers or something in there because he's got eight at short and six at medium and an overheat of two. Oh, that's insane! And overheat up to long. Yeah, oh, do six damage. Wow, Juggernaut! There you go. Case. That's going to be a full-on variant. So he's got some ammo weapons in there as well. He might have some like larger ball auto cannons or something in there, or maybe some short-range missiles to to bring that damage value up. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, pretty cool. that's insane for Alpha Strike. That's that's good. All right. Uh, okay, so Who's Jaya, Jaya or Aya, Aya, Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 3-4 mech warrior with Ghost Bear, 17th Provisional Garrison Cluster. So more at home in the snow and cold than anywhere else. No wonder, I mean, this thing overheats like a mofo. Yeah, I reckon. <laughs> Star treats her as, she is, as if she is part Ghost Bear. They respect her abilities, but otherwise keep her at arm's length. Cold and snow also greatly aid her in combat because of her mastery of the terrain and its effects. So only a two-point ability, Environmental Specialist Snow. Reduced by half, rounding down all movement and piloting skill roll penalties when operating in the specified environment. If the environment affects weapon attacks in any way, gain a minus one two hit modifier when attacking in that environment. Oh. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. I can't remember exactly what Snow does, but I th I'm pretty sure it gives you a movement penalty. Oh, definitely. And I'm pretty sure it gives you a heat bonus, like a dissipation bonus. 
That makes sense too. Um, I can't remember if it gives you a gunnery modifier. I think it, it would does. have to. I mean, if you're in a blizzard, I mean, I yeah, but it's snow. It's not necessarily actual falling snow. It's snow, like oh, snow. packed snow. Okay. Um, I think that's the environmental thing. But yeah, if you were in a blizzard or something in an actual snowstorm, then that would definitely give you a yeah. modifier. But I think there's a glare issue with snow. I think they gave you a, a target oh, modifier for, too, for a snowy environment. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty cool. And for a two-point ability, if you start putting some snow or something in your in your game, some different terrain types, it's pretty cool. Which we recommend. I like it. And if you're going to be if you're going to be a ghost bear, it has to be snow. Yeah, I dead mean, set. Snow's where it's at. You can't go anywhere but snow if you're ghost bear. All right. So who's this? Hania Nostrum. Hania Nostrum. Hania Nostrum. Oh, vampire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, three gunnery, three piloting. Okay, Star Commander. Yeah, that's about right. Nova Cat, the fifth Nova Cat Regulates. An older warrior. Honey requested reassignment to Omicron after a rite of the vision. Mm. Uh, there he mentors promising warriors on mysticism and combat. In battle, his visions can turn the tide. So three points. Ooh, combat, combat intuition. intuition. We saw this in one of the other ones before. One of the the first ones, I think, was ad hoc, actually. Yeah, so you declare during the, the end phase, then you take a point oh, of damage yeah. without rolling consciousness and select an opposing opposing unit. And after initiative on the following turn, you choose one. So either that unit, um, either your unit moves last and fires last, declares fire last, yeah. or you get to do all of your stuff before that particular unit does, and you get to apply your damage before it gets to move and all that sort of stuff. Nice. That's a really cool ability in one of these. It is, yeah. As solid. Especially because you've got the range. You know, you can do it from anywhere on the field. Yeah. Much. Yeah, because it doesn't give you a... Um, a range for that to go off on. No. It's just pick a unit and pay your, your point of health. And bear in mind, you've only got six points of health for your mech warrior, so this isn't a little thing that they're asking you to do here. Yeah. But um, still, the benefits yeah. can be very good. Very good. I like it. All right, there we go. Yeah. So that's that's that one. That's that one. And we have your favourite from the box set. <laughs> I love this. When I saw it in the in the tech readout, I just went, "Yeah, I want one." And I've never actually had the model before. This is the first stone rhino I've ever stone done. rhino. I think they call it a behemoth. Well, the Innisfear did. Yeah. Yep. But it's the stone rhino. Stone rhino. It's a behemoth in in a sphere. It is ninety no a hundred. Yeah. Hundred tons. Hundred tons. Stone rhino. It has jump three five three. Yeah. So that thing has jump. All right. Just. Take that in for a second. <laughs> so I think it was um, twin pulse laser and twin um, Auto gauss cannon. rifle. Oh, gauss rifle. Okay. Yeah. And I think it had something weird like a, a small laser left over, like an ES small or a small pulse laser. <laughs> just something, something like that. Just yeah. something odd. Something small and stupid. So, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you might as well use it if you've maxed your armor and all that sort of thing. Might as well. It's got a, a definite end 209 feel. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it's just big and stompy. Look at it. That's exactly it's how huge. you think. And it's well, look at the look at the feet on it. Yeah. And it's saw on the TRO. I think I think the page has got him like that. Yeah. And then all the text and stuff underneath and the thing. And I just looked at that and went, "I want one." <laughs> That's it. I That's want cool. one. I don't care what I'm about to read. I want <laughs> one because look at that thing. It's so good. It's just insane. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a squeeze at his cards. Okay. Wow, 56 points. I thought that would have been way more. Uh, so that's the standard version. So six jumps. So yeah, three, three, five, three. Uh, five across the board. He's got an overheat value and he's got case. So there's some, you like you say, some long. It's good too. Yeah, ammo in there. There's so six classes of sniper. Long. Very nice. It's Stone Rhino 4, version 4. It's it's only 44 points. Holy crap. Okay. He's lower than almost all of the others. Good Lord, I wonder what he's got. Um, counts as a juggernaut. Overheat value of four out for long. Yeah. So lots of laser weapons on there, I'm guessing. So he basically overheats and then pretty much shuts down. <laughs> but still, eight damage. Yeah. Might risk it. At short and six at long. I mean, it could be worth it. Um, 
Esky. Esky. Clan Smoke Jaguar, the 124th Phalanx, Mech Warrior. This silent Scarface warrior rarely speaks or shows emotions. As a cadet, he was attacked and nearly killed by a Smoke Jaguar. Okay. Oh, okay. The experience changed him, imagine. When not on duty, he often disappears into the wilderness for hours. On the, bottle, on the battlefield, he stalks his opponents like a smoke jaguar with bloody, well, with deadly results. This probably would be bloody. Yeah, it would be well. bloody, yeah, because he's got blood stalker. So four points worth of abilities, blood stalker and iron will. Nice. That's a pretty nice. decent combo. Yep. So nothing phases him, but he can, uh, he sort of freaks you out a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Very nice. Ooh, oh. someone with a nickname, Sarah Vixen Kazar. And a, and a blood name. So and a blood, blood name, name and a nickname. she been full on. Wow. Only a 3-4 pilot, though. Star Colonel, Clan Jade Falcon in the first Falcon V-Lights. Hmm. Okay. So Sarah was one of the only graduate of an experimental Sibco seeking to breed tougher warriors. In her case, it also bred one of exceeding beauty. Oh, well, well done, her. Beneath which resides an intelligent, ambitious, and deadly warrior. Rumours of her off-duty activities with men are common, though never mentioned within her hearing. Well, I did say not. After taking command of the Velas, she began drilling them constantly, honing them to a razor's edge in preparation for the next assault. She has a three-point ability, Tactical Genius. So prior to play, if you uh, select a commander, if she's your commander, you get to re-roll your initiative. Which is, mm. it's a pretty good ability, yeah, it's that's not cool. too bad. And a 3-4 pilot in one of those things is... It's nice. It's nice. You know, that's a good solid will help you, whatever, yeah. but um, yeah, you want the big guns to hit. So those Gauss rifles and things in the original version is just insane. Yeah. I mean, even a kick from that thing is deadly. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's great. I love it. I so there we go. Great. So Battletech Clan Heavy Star. Approve? Approve. approve. That gets three groovies out of awesome. <laughs> and one extra groovy because of this guy, because he's just, he's insane. Look at him. Oh, no. Pew, 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 pew. You're all dead. It's a very, some very impressive second line mix. Very oh, impressive nice. second line mix. So just, just to remember though, that um, your clan second line mechs are going to be cheaper in BV for the Innisfere equivalent. So if you're just playing like casual one-off games, look at those because it'll give you some points. Yeah. yeah. And that's, it. they've still got the clan tech on them. It's exactly the same. Yeah, yeah but they are, um, they are a smidge cheaper than a standard clan mech. Yeah. Uh, they'll still, I'm pretty sure they'll still be more expensive than the Innisfere version of that same mech. Oh, definitely. But you might save a little bit of BV rather than going for the Omnis. Yeah, so if you're not interested in carrying battle armor or... Um... You know, swapping out weapons, because it's not really going to matter. It's not, no. And you want to save a little bit of BV, consider the uh, the 2C variants. And that's some, that's some, that's a lot of hard-hitting mechs you've got there, too. Yeah. They're, just, they're all and that, like assaults and whatever. It's a heavy star, so they're all... Well, there's only what one that's under... Yeah, there's only one that's not an assault mech. No, wait, it's 80... 85 is... 85 is... Uh, or is that 80? That's uh, heavy still, I think. I think so. I think 85 is assault and 80 is heavy. Something like that. Something like that. Doesn't matter. The either big, the, so, the either way, yep. there's only one of them there that's under 80 tons. They've got some really good, mm -hmm. really good weaponry and solid necks in there. That's a, that's a nice box. If you want some heavy hitters and stuff, that's that's your go-to box, I think. That would be a... really yeah. good. You get that one or the heavy battle, and you'll have some solid, solid stuff. But this one will probably save you a little bit on BV. Yeah, so defense um, or whatever, that's like ideal. That's yeah, really good. That's a really good box. So there right. we go. So, thank you for bringing that, Taryn, and <laughs> sharing it with us. That's My pleasure, cool. sir. My pleasure. Now, if you found this video useful, consider subscribing. Hit the little uh, bell. Let us uh, let it also let us know how you go if you've actually used any of these mechs, if you've got this box set. Yeah, you if know, you managed to get your stuff in. yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's taken us a while. I'm pretty sure everybody else has got this already, but we're going through it anyway. Stuff. <laughs> All good. All right, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in our next unboxing video. Bye. Bye, guys.